Hello and welcome back. Um, Ginty, there is another little job that needs to be done. Um, I will take a quick look now. Uh, basically, um, obviously this engine is a lot bigger than any of my others. So the door for the fire is a lot bigger than any of my others. And I could do with something a bit quicker to put coal in than any of the shovels I currently have. Um, I've had a visit today from Alex, who he had a, has a former, or his dad has a former, and he made me the shovel for my five inch Ginty and one for my Britannia as well. This is the former they used. Um, the Ginty is uh, a longer blade than the Britannia, but they're both the same smaller mold, a former. They do have this bigger former as well, which they used for their Black 5 and the Standard 2. However, that's still not quite big enough really for the Ginty. So we're going to make a little former uh, I've got making a former and then maybe even press out the the blade. Other than that, he'll do it for me back at his. But let's take a look at the former first. Back in a moment. So I've been going through the stock metal drawers. I have found a piece of flat bar which will become the form the, the internal former. We've decided to go for a, aiming at about inch and a half. So let's take that's going to be the inch and a half. That's what we're aiming for to produce. So that's the the internal former and the external. That will become the internal piece. As for the external piece, I've got a little bit of two inch bar. So we just need inch and a half slot or just over an inch and a half because you need the thickness of the, the sheet and I've got an inch cutter so we're going to put groove down the bit of bar and see where we go from there so I have hit a bit of a snag this cutter does not quite fit in any of my collets so I'm going to machine up an adapter found a bit of steel bar I uh, found a bit of steel bar, I'm just going to bore it to be a nice close fit for this, good sliding fit. Uh, I will then just clean up the outside, spin it round, chuck it again uh, and turn the other end down until it fits in the collet for the mill. So pilot drill first, got him deep enough now out and put something bigger in. A bit of cutting fluid and in we go. You get the idea, I won't show you all of the drilling a hole. So I've just taken my last cut, just try this in there. That's not bad. That's just the air not getting past it that's causing it to bounce one way or the other. So that's a good fit. I just need to see how far in it goes, mark on top, flatten it, grub screw, uh, spin it round, turn that down to fit in the collet, see how far in it goes. Turn the end down to fit and call it. And then, what else do we need to do? Well, that should do it. So, I'll turn the other down, end down, or clean up this, turn the other end to fit in the collet, and then we'll mess around putting the position on for the uh, grub screws. And there it is finished. All I've done as well, I put a decent sized hole up the centre faced off the end and just put a slight chamfer on the end. The reason for the hole, 
is twofold. One, it'll let the air out so the cutter will go in and out nicely. And two, it will allow me to drift the thing out if it ever gets stuck. So there we go. Two holes drilled and tapped, but there is still burrs inside, so they need to be deburred, and then we can put it together. So I fitted it in the mill. I don't like how this chuck holds it. It's a quality chuck, which half of it's taken away. It's not really gripping it as I'd like. Hard to describe, um, and it is wobbling a bit. Probably the lathe isn't quite true enough, so the two ends aren't parallel. So, what I'm going to do is what I should have done in the first place. I have just been onto the RDG Tools website and ordered myself a set of collets uh, with a, an R8. So it's ER32 collets with an R8 head, so that will go in the mill straight as it is. Which does mean that most of what I've just done is a waste of time. But the theory might help people with, might help you with something. Just the, the thought of something somewhere. So that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Hopefully this will be here soon. Um, obviously it's after they've closed today. So hopefully they'll see it tomorrow. And I don't know how long the delivery is, if they've got it in stock. I didn't really look into it that much. I just knew I wanted it, ordered it. So, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Uh, let's get on with something else. If I don't find something else to do, then thanks for watching. And I will catch up with you soon. So I've just come home from work. It is Wednesday. Uh, I ordered the tool from RDG on Monday evening. So... I was quite surprised when it turned up today. Let's take a look. Obviously I've taken it out of the outer wrapper already. Uh, there was some plastic around it and that. So very pleased, obviously the collets need the wrappers taken off. A little bit disappointing. This is obviously the case for a different tool, but different uh, holder, but I will have to just cut a little bit out the end so that it fits nicely or I could have it that way round but cut a bit more out but I want, didn't want that end to be flapping around. So if that's tucked into the V there and I cut a bit out of this end it will sit nicely. So that's just a little adaption I've got to do. So just before I go and try this out in the workshop, I am going to cut that foam. But while I do that, I will leave you with a little view that I saw while I was at work today. Here you go. That is looking much better. Thank <laughs> you.
So after a couple of cuts with that big cutter, it was slow progress and it was noisy and lumpy. So I've changed cutters, which is now possible because of the, this new collar set. I'm using what's called a roughing cutter. Uh, let's take a look at it. Here it goes. It's taking a monster cut here. Let's pull out. See what sort of size cut it's taking. Um, you see, it looks. We used to nickname it the uh, the milling tap because it looks like it's got a big thread down it. Let's see what sort of size cut this is taking. And you heard what it sounded like. 200 thou cut, 203. Full width of the cutter and sounds smooth as anything. Hopefully that's enough clearance for for the sheet material. I just need to radius the end so that that meets the end and put an angle on it as well now. So, almost there. So every time I've said to myself, that's enough, I'll carry on tomorrow. I've then just got the next bit ready and then done it. So. I've just filed radiuses on those corners with that file there and that fits in nicely. So that can now go to Alex to form the shuttle blade.